Okay, so this is kind of an in-joke um, for a few of my friends who actually know this ex. For the rest of you, it'll just be a fucking hilarious story. Um, and a big, big thing, this is totally like not safe for work. Uh, so if you're at work, turn the volume down or watch a different video of me. Okay, so a couple days ago, I had the most awesome, excellent dream ever. Um, quite a few years ago, I had an ex who was in very, very good physical condition, but was an utter and complete dick, bastard, whatever you want to call it. This guy, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, he did several things that were really bad. One of which was the day after my grandfather died, having sex with my best friend while I was in the other room crying. Um, there's one thing, cheated on me with men, women, anybody who moved or breathed or was sleeping nearby. Um, the other thing was he potentially exposed me to the HIV virus. Had to get myself checked out, still get regular screenings, but you know, you only have to go through one of those scares to realize, boy, that guy's just not a nice guy. Anyway, so the story. This ex happens to be a person of a different ethnic background. I'm very, I, physicalness doesn't necessarily matter to me that much. I've, I've had dates and partners of just about every single race, size, height, weight, whatever, you know, you gotta be smart. I'm a smart girl. Um, okay, so anyway, the, the story goes, so I am the person who I am now, you know, current me, but our relationship was like five years ago. So in the dream, it's the person who he was from five years ago with the current me. And we're at this house in Scottsdale and we're like making out on a couch or something and all of a sudden, his clothes are, you know, magic, three magic, poof, gone, so are mine. And he gets ready to, you know, fuck me, basically. And I go, what you doing, dude? We're, we're not doing that. But, but we're naked. Yes, and your peener is really fucking dirty. It's had AIDS on it. You're not getting sex from me. In my dream, I'm there, and I go like this. You're not having sex from me. I snap my fingers, and all of a sudden, I'm dressed all in leather, and he's still naked. He then proceeds to spend the rest of the dream begging me, on his knees, begging me, like licking the ground, going, please, 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 I want to be with you, I'll do anything for you, please, just let me be with you, let me touch you. And I'm totally like, no, no, no way, not gonna happen, no, keep begging, but not gonna happen. This is just far too amusing. I woke up from a dream with a smile on my face. I honestly can't remember the last time that happened because it was just so hilarious. <laughs> I mean, it really was just, I don't know, I mean, it really is one of those, you have to be there or really know the other person who I'm talking about to understand how funny it was that he was there in my dream begging, but I do find it highly, highly amusing. And that's just something that I want to share with y'all that, you know, I, I, I can lucid dream and every once in a while I'll find really fantastic, like just nuggets of gold that are wonderful and fit my personality because I'm weird like that. So yes, that was my little wonderful, uh, happy, let's torture other guys dreams because, well, if I can't be uh, uh, satisfied sexually, then I guess nobody else in my dreams can be either. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, there you go. And uh, that's, that's the little non sequitur from Tashi. So see y'all later.